Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, I am furnishing this apartment in San Juanino, and yeah, it's very cheap. We do have a budget because this is for my career legacy challenge. And if you don't know about that challenge, it is written by Rochelle. I will leave her channel down below as well as the rules. So she does have a website so you can like randomize the career and keep up with it, or you could go alphabetically. It's kind of up to you. And the main rules are to start off racks to riches and you have to roll one through six to see how many kids you get. I personally changed that because playing with like a full household is just very overwhelming. It's very hard. I just can't, like it's too many Sims to take care of. So I changed it for me to just spend one through four. And another part is for the second generation, you have to spend like, I think a hundred simoleons to maybe 5,000 simoleons to see how many funds they get when they move out. So they kind of get a head start. So that's kind of good. Um, it's still not a lot of money though, cause yikes, that is rough, but hopefully it's a good head start so you can like have food and sleep and etc. So my Sim, I spun and she is a critic. I think she's gonna do the food critic. Well, no, I know she's gonna do the food critic branch. She might've already chosen it. I'm not sure, but she already has like the cooking skill, the gourmet cooking skill. And honestly, if I knew when the art studio kit was going to come out, I probably would have had her do the art branch, but unfortunately that's not the case. So that's all good. But her partner is an artist, um, so I guess she could do, I guess, use the new stuff. Um, unfortunately, she can't fit it in this apartment though because it's very small. Um, I mean, she can fit it. It just won't be like a really big room. It would be very small um because when you walk in there's like a space to the left which is very small and tight so that's just gonna have to work for her and my sim she has to have four kids so at the moment she has one toddler her name is holly and she is also currently pregnant and let me give you a little bit of a backstory so how i made harper is i took two sims for my gallery two different families so i had a career legacy family for my ps4 and i took ava and i took cherry blossom from my sims and blue save on my ps4 and basically i mixed their genetics to get harper martinez and yeah she's very cute honestly i love those sims and for the first few or couple of days i actually made a home for her family and i had her living there for a couple of days and there was like boxes because i kind of wanted to tell stories like oh she's moving out to start off on her own and everything so yeah it was kind of nice to play with those sims again because those are the only families that i saved to the gallery from my ps4 so yeah, it's very sad, but I was so happy to play with them, even if it was for like three sim days. Um, yeah, and she also has a little sister now, Ava. No, not Ava. Her name is Veronica, I think. Anyways, that's so unnecessary. But when Harper first moved out, I had her do some dating on the Cupid Corners app. And she first dated... Angela Pleasant, the one she's dating now, actually, that's the artist, but she was dating a lot of people at the moment, you know, just, I guess, talking to a bunch of different people to see what fits, and then she had this phone call from someone named Jenna. She's from the snowy escape world. She's so beautiful, I feel. Anyways, she does have a husband, but... Um, Harper does not know that at the moment, so Jenna texts her and saying like, oh, I got your number from a mutual friend. I thought you were pretty cute, something like that. Anyways, she asked to come over, so I agreed because they don't tell you who it is when you get that text. It's kind of like a surprise. So yeah, they started dating. They woohooed. Jenna was her first woohoo partner and yeah, she got pregnant, unfortunately. So when she was on her way to tell Jenna, actually she got pregnant in Jenna's house. Like the husband was there, but he didn't find out luckily, I guess. But when she went to his house, he went off on her basically because I guess he did see but we didn't know he saw and yeah he went off on us and we we're like what she has a husband we didn't know so we met her around back and we went off on her and we also was like hey I'm pregnant I want this to work out but yeah I just I don't know she wanted co-parenting to go well but she was still a little furious because like why are you cheating on your husband with me and 
yeah, and then she went on a date with Faze Jalil. I think he's the person who runs the flower shop in Tartosa. And yeah, we went on a date with him. Nothing, they didn't really get together well. I didn't see the chemistry. But she was at the park getting collectibles and then he texts her like, Hey, I was wondering if you think I should go on a date with so-and-so. And then that was our sign that he was also not the one. So yeah, we landed on Angela. And luckily she doesn't mind that we have a child. So that is good. And right now I mainly focus on the kitchen. Again, this apartment is so unfurnished. So basically I'm not going to upload this to the gallery just because I don't like uploading unfurnished builds to my gallery i just don't want to do that and also it would be a lot since it's two stories so i would have to upload it separately because that's just how you have to place apartments and not to mention i had a very weird issue when i was trying to build here so when i moved my sims in i bulldozed a lot and that got rid of like the second story flooring and I guess like the first floor ceiling and I couldn't put them back because I got this red pop-up saying like, oh, expand it to ops. And I know that happens if you have like a staircase on your residential rental, but apparently it happens to apartments as well. At least this apartment. This is a this apartment is next to the karaoke legends. So yeah, hopefully I don't know. You just you yeah, I had to delete their staircase to make this work, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, anyways, yeah, I mainly focused on the kitchen. I really like the toddler's room. Her room looks pretty good, but everything else is kind of very much unfurnished. And I did do some work from home with Harper, and honestly, I love the work from home things like I love that I hope more careers like that come out I haven't played with the romance consultant career yet um so hopefully the assignments from home are interesting but for the critic career um it had me like write a book level up writing skill cook three gourmet meals um, and also it had me watch like cooking channel for three hours and at the time in her last apartment she only had she she didn't have a computer she didn't have a tv so I had to have her go to the bar and watch tv which is kind of awkward because like why would you go there I guess she could have visited her mother's home and done it but I don't know I just went to the bar it's fine and she also went to the library to like write her books or level up her skill and honestly I love doing that because it was a reason for her to get out of the house and I usually don't do that like if my sims has has a computer she's gonna do it here I feel like I barely leave with my sims like I feel like I don't leave that often and I probably should do that more but yeah um she has a tv here so that's good I gave her a portable laptop so that's good and as you can tell her color scheme of this apartment is blue and orange and I don't know I, I think that's nice I went blue and orange for Ava as well on my ps4 because she was also the founder um so I guess I wanted to copy that and yeah she also has like a another room upstairs with just like a bassinet and a rug because she is pregnant as I said and yeah and then there's an empty room upstairs the second bathroom upstairs just has a tub and a potty but now we're working on that toddler's room and I used the high school years rug sized up it was so beautiful and yeah everything else is just empty I'm so sorry and for whatever reason I decided to get two showers in the ensuite bathroom and I ended up deleting it because I needed the money but I don't know I thought that was nice and honestly I feel like I need to basically build a bigger bathroom just to make like that shower door work I don't know I want to use it in a different way but I always make my bathrooms like three by two like just six tiles in total like I don't know I just I feel like it would be good to use the shower door in a bigger bathroom I guess so like maybe you can have a shower and a tub in there I don't know I think that would be really nice so for the toddler I gave her like all the stuff she needs so I gave her the play tip from Jim Home Decorator because that really helps your imagination skill goes up quickly I gave her Blarfy I gave her the slide the slide is on the balcony out doors I guess and uh, what else I just gave her the tablet for the um 
what do you call it, the thinking skill, I think. And that one goes up quickly if you watch Sims. But that one can be kind of annoying just because, like, if the Sim they're watching is moving, they have to move. And toddlers move very slow. So, yeah, that won't be helpful at all. But honestly, I was thinking that the next heir, like, I know I'm just having kids. Like, I shouldn't be picking an heir. But I think I want the next heir to be a plant sim. So I'm using the plant sim mod from Seriously Sims. And I just, I don't know, I really want to play with the plant sim. So I thought maybe my sim Harper will have a science baby with her friend because she's a plant sim. And maybe the plant sim doesn't have anyone to have a baby with i'm not really sure so i don't know what the reason could be but all i know is i want a plant sim because i made a tiny home i think it's like under starter home price like maybe sixteen thousand simoleons so it's kind of it's kind of going to be hard for her to get since she has to like start racks to riches but i guess she could have like a side job as a teenager that could help right and yeah i just i don't know how she's gonna afford it because like i don't want her, most of her life to be like getting money to afford this tiny home just for her to like leave it right away because she's having kids but yeah the video is ending pretty soon i'm just on that little nursery that is very small um and as you can see i left my money off with like 160 simoleons so we're kind of low on money but maybe I can have my sim go fishing for like that sad blue bear ring. I don't know what it's called, but she did fish that out and I had her sell it for 5,000 simoleons. Because like that's some good money. So like if you need money, just try to catch a ring in the Ciudad in a Marata water. Because that is honestly very helpful. But I think I'm going to hop into game and give you guys a tour. I'm just grabbing like a shelf and that's pretty much it honestly nothing else is going to be really added to this build so they live here in this apartment and i don't know if you could tell but the next door neighbors had no stairs so basically when you walk in it's an empty mess but over here next to the couch i have some family photos hung up i have some snow globes but over here we just have the living room and our staircase we have ava's and cherry's the marriage certificate and yeah this is just harper this is cherry blossom and then this is ava martinez and then over here in our kitchen it's pretty simple in here i like it she has her things she got from work her trash can her laptop pretty nice even a dishwasher and right now i don't think this is gonna work but if i just place it back it should be normal and should work and then through here we have the main bedroom um yeah it's very empty so sorry this is the ensuite bathroom no clutter it just looks so lifeless i'm so sorry once you go upstairs right across from the stairs you have your bathtub and your potty and then this is the toddler's bedroom it's so cute i love it it's beautiful it's amazing and then this is the little nursery and yeah it's trick-or-treat that is fun and this is harper they're in their underwear because they were in their pajamas when they moved it is 10 a.m but yeah she's pregnant i'm gonna leave the video off here hopefully you enjoyed watching me decorate and maybe this will encourage you to try out the career legacy challenge yourself so again i will leave down the rules below and the link to rochelle's channel and yeah if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye